They call it the five-year photo. These men have been getting together every five years for the last thirty years. From left to right, they are John Wardlaw, Mark Rumer, Dallas Burney, John Maloney, and John Dixon, also known as Wedge, Cram, Salad, Bells, and J.D. It started out as John Wardlaw's idea. His family had a cabin in Copco Lake in California. One summer, he decided to invite his friends. He says. It was just a vacation before we all started getting way too busy with the lives of college and work and all of that. They were about 19 years old at the time, and high school friends. While hanging out on the dock one day, the boys decided to take a picture to commemorate the vacation. For some reason, Wardlaw says, we all chose to have dark and mysterious expressions on our faces. I'm sure we all thought we were being really cool. After that, every year, some members of the group would go back to the lake. On the fifth year, they realized that all five were there again, so they decided to take the same picture. Wardlaw, a photography enthusiast, decided it would be fun to recreate the photograph they'd taken in 1982. Wardlaw held a different hat. There was a different jar, but they had the same expressions. The men had now graduated from college, and so it began. They met again five years later, and five years after that. By 1997, the five friends were in their 30s, and it had been 15 years since the first picture. And they were officially decided to make this a tradition and to cu- keep coming back every five years for the rest of their lives. These images uniquely document the passage of time, and these men have been there for each other through the highs and lows. Dixon says, "I look at the photos and think of the relationships I went through. Wedding rings come and go if you look closely." Again, he says, "Watch us lose hair, gain forehead, gain and lose, and gain and lose weight." <laughs> and adds, "There are reasons we all decided it would be better to take the photo with our shirts on." So every five years, they would make an effort to meet. Wardlaw says, "I think I had a feeling this might become some cool tradition, but I had no idea we'd still be doing it for thirty years." By 2012. It has now become a priority for the men who now live in different cities across the country. Dixon says we plan on doing this for the rest of our lives, no matter what, up until there's just one guy sitting there in the same pose, and even then, maybe someone will take a picture of an empty bench for us. In 2012, they came together from New Orleans, Portland, Santa Barbara, and Antioch. They have committed to do whatever it takes to make it back for the tradition, including driving overnight when a flight flight was delayed. Wartlaw says they've agreed to pitch in and raise funds if ever one of them can't afford the trip. And then Dixon jokes, "If I was in the hospital, I'd have them bring me here on a stretcher." These photos have served as an inspiration for millions across the world. They all acknowledge that this tradition has glued them together and strengthened their friendship. When you speak to the men, it's clear that they are very proud of the bond that they've developed. We at SF Globe love the story of friendship, and if you do as well, please share with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more stories like these. And check out sfglobe.